This is Mr. Priscilla picking up where I left off. We're discussing percent taxes and inflation and doing some homework examples uh, today. Hopefully you've had a chance to read in the book about it and to watch the Pearson video. We're up to number 10 which says, okay, summarized on the right is the sale of the top five products in 2002. Use this information to calculate what percent of sales of these five products was due to product B. Well, product B, there's 399 items of product B sold. And 399 out of all of these products, we're going to have to add these numbers together to figure out how many all together there were. There was, so I'm writing out the steps here. So I'm adding all of these, oops, numbers. So let me go ahead and use my calculator and add those right now. Let's see. So we have what? Uh, 412 plus 399 plus 300 plus 300 plus 261. Ooh, I can't see that. Hmm. So, all together we're getting six, 1,672 products. Can y'all see that? So, we, product B accounted for uh, 399 out of 1,672 products. Well, here we have a fraction. We know how to convert that to percent. So you're just going to go 399 divided by 1,672, and then to move the decimal point two places, times 100, and this one we're told to round. Notice it's a long decimal number, and we're told round to the nearest hundredth. Well, hundredths would be two digits after the decimal point. So we have 23.86 three to round to the nearest hundredth we're either going to leave that as a six or make it into a seven and the way you decide is you look at the digit after it and if the digit after it is five or larger you round it up if it's four or smaller you just drop all of that so we're going to drop it and leave it as 23.86 percent Okay, so th product B was 23.86% was of all of those sales. So you take pr the number of items, product B, divided by the total. Now, let's see. Not time to do one or two more of these today. Problem number 11. Summarized on the right is the sale in thousands of the top five products in 2002. Okay, similar to those other ones. Use this information to calculate what percent greater were the sales of product A than product B. This one's different. We want to calculate a percent, a uh, change in percent. Okay. So, hopefully when you read, were reading through this, you would have seen the formula. Percent of change equals new amount, that AMT is amount, minus base amount divided by the base amount. 
Okay. So, we're asked, what percent greater were the sale of product A than product B? The than part, the product B, that's the base amount. How much bigger is this than that? So we're going to use 2193, that's the new amount. Ooh, uh, let me move it. You know what? Let me, I'll do this right here. But I think I'm going to actually write on the paper. Let me see. I'll write it real small. Percent of change equals new amount minus base amount divided by base amount. So our new amount, 2193, minus the base amount, divided by that base amount. So start off, clear that, let's calculate that top. I'm going to subtract 2193 minus 2107, and that's 86. So we have 86 over 2107. But how do we convert 86 over 2107 to a fraction, excuse me, to a, a percent? You divide and multiply by 100, so 86 divided by 2107 times 100, 4.0816. The instructions on this say to round to the nearest hundredth again, so we want to round to the two decimal places. Since the digit after the 8 is smaller than a 5, we'll just drop everything and call it 4.08%. 4.08%. So the sale of product A was 4.08% greater than the sale of product B. This is stuff you hear about all the time if you read any sort of business report or something. Okay, sale of the of iPhone 6 was how much greater than the sale of iPhone 5 last uh, year, stuff like that. Okay, we have time I think to do one more of these, number 12. A U.S. based motorcycle manufacturer says that it expects to build 137,000 motorcycles this year, up from $124,000 last year. Find the percent of increase in production. Well, the percent of increase is just a percent of change, so it's that same formula, only this time the new amount is 137,000. The base amount, 124,000, divided by 124,000. So, move that over, get in my calculator. Let's see, what can I do for y'all to see? Oh, right there. 137,000. Minus 124,000. That's 13,000. Make sure you hit enter before you then divide. Because the order of operations, if you don't hit, don't do the top first, it's going to give you the wrong answer. It's going to divide and then subtract. So that's 13,000 over 124,000. Well, once again, we now have a fraction. So let's 
Write it as a percent by saying 13,000 divided by 124,000 times 100. 10.4838. How are we told to round this one? Oh, round to just one decimal place as needed. So it's not saying rounding round to two places. So we're just going to round to one decimal place. That would be 10 point is it 10.5? So 10.5 percent. Okay. The motorcycle manufacturer says it expects to build 137,000 motorcycles this year up from 124,000 last year. Find the per in percent of increase in production. New amount minus that base amount divided by that base amount. Okay. Now, we're at a time right now, so we'll pick up with number 13 the next time. If you haven't had a chance to read through uh, the book, or to watch one of the video, the Pearson videos, you probably should try to make time to do that. And I'll, well, I'll be talking to you again soon. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.